Hi, I'm Chad Schmutzer from Amazon Web Services. Today I'm going to show you how to enable automatic scaling of the spot capacity target of an Amazon EC2 spot fleet. EC2 spot fleet is a building block that gives you the ability to create fleets that are composed of a combination of EC2 on-demand and spot instances with a single API call. In this video, I will show you how to create an application load balancer, an EC2 spot fleet associated with the application load balancer, and then create an automatic scaling target tracking policy to scale the spot capacity target of the spot fleet up and down based on the application load balancer request count per target. Let's get started. To deploy your load balancer and spot fleet in your AWS account, you will begin by signing into the AWS management console with your username and password. I've already signed in. Go to the EC2 console by choosing EC2 under Compute. Next, choose Load Balancers in the Navigation pane. This page shows you a list of load balancer types to choose from. Choose Create in the Application Load Balancer box. We'll name our load balancer Spot. We'll select all the availability zones we have access to in our account. And we'll, we'll apply a tag, key value name, and spot here. Click Next to configure security settings. Since this is a demonstration, we will continue without configuring a secure listener. However, if this was a production load balancer, it is recommended to configure a secure listener if your traffic to the load balancer needs to be secure. Go ahead and click on Next, configure security groups. Select Create a new security group to assign a security group and leave the security group name, description, and rule as the default config. Note the name of the security group typically is something like Load Balancer Wizard 1. I already have security groups in my account, so I'm going to take advantage of those and assign them here. Click on Next Configure Routing. In the Configure Routing section, we'll configure a target group. Your load balancer routes requests to the targets in this target group using the protocol and port that you specify and performs health checks on the targets using these health check settings. Give your target group a name and leave the rest of the options as default under target group, health checks, and advanced health check settings. We'll call our target group spot. And we'll go ahead and click next register targets. On the Register Targets section, we don't need to register any targets or instances at this point because we will do this when we configure the EC2 spot fleet. Go ahead and click on Next Review. Here you can review your settings. Once you are done reviewing, click Create. You should get a return that your load balancer was successfully created. Click Close. Next we'll launch an EC2 spot fleet and associate the load balancing target group with it. Go ahead and head to Spot Request in the Navigation pane. Click on Request Spot Instances. Select Request and Maintain under Request Type. This requests a fleet of spot instances to maintain your target capacity. Under Amount, set the total target capacity to 2 and leave the optional on-demand portion set to 0. We'll make a few changes under Requirements. First, leave the AMI with the default Amazon Linux AMI. Let's add additional instance types by clicking Select and then checking both C3 Large and C4 Large. This will allow the spot fleet to be flexible across both instance types when it is requesting spot capacity. Click Select to save your changes. For network, make sure you select the same VPC you use when creating the application load balancer. Then check the same availability zones and subnets you selected when creating the application load balancer. Check the security group that was created by the load balancer wizard when creating the load balancer. Select a key pair name if you'd like to enable SSH access to your instances. In the user data field, we'll enter the following data as text. Add any instance tags you'd like to have propagated to the instances the spot fleet launches. Under Load Balancing, check the Load Balancing box to receive traffic from one or more load balancers. Select the target group you created in the earlier step of creating the application load balancer. Under Spot Request Fulfillment, leave the default options and go ahead and click Launch. Next, let's configure automatic scaling for the Spot Fleet. Head back to Spot Request in the Navigation pane. Select the Spot Fleet Request ID that you just launched. In the lower section details, click on the Auto Scaling tab then click on the Configure button. 
You can now select details for how your spot fleet will scale. Set the scale capacity between 2 and 10 instances. In the scaling policies, change the target metric to application load balancer request count per target. This will show a new field the ALB target group. Select the target group created in the earlier step. Leave the rest of the settings as default. Click Save. You have now attached a target-based automatic scaling policy to your spot fleet. In this video, I've shown you how to create an elastic load balancing application load balancer and associated target group, an EC2 spot fleet, and then attached a target-based automatic scaling policy to your spot fleet. To learn more about EC2 spot instances, visit aws.amazon.com/ec2/spot. Thanks for watching.